Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at test 7, section 4, number 7. And what we see is a graph. When you see a graph, you got to make sure you understand what's going on in the graph before you look at the answer choices. So let's look at the title, let it register. Look at the x-axis, let it register. Um, I'm going to look at the y-axis, let it register. Look at the trend, let that register also. So we've got as the title is distance and density of planetoids in the inner solar system. X-axis, distance from the sun. Y-axis, density. And then you see a line going down. That always means one thing's increasing as another thing's decreasing. So as the distance from the sun increases, the density of the planetoid is decreasing. Now we read below it. The scatter plot above shows the densities of seven planetoids in grams per cubic centimeter with respect to the average distance from the sun in astronomical units AU. The line of best fit is also shown. Great. Keep in mind whenever you've got a scatter plot, the dots are actual and the line is predicted. So if it ever uses that language, you'll know the difference. So number seven reads, According to the scatter plot, which of the following statements is true about the relationship between the planetoid's average distance from the sun and its density? And so we see average distance from the sun we would think is going to be like somewhere in the middle and average density would be somewhere in the middle as well. But let's see what the answer choices are saying. Answer choice A, planetoids that are more distance from the sun tend to have lesser densities. So let's see, more distant, lesser density. It looks like that's our answer. So I'm going to highlight it right off the bat. Now let's look at the others and let's see why they are wrong. Answer is D, planetoids that are more distant from the sun tend to have greater densities. The more, the higher the distance is over here and notice the density is the lowest there. So that's why it's not B. Answer is C, the dense density of the planetoid that is twice as far from the sun. So the density that's twice as far from the sun. So let's say it's like 0.4 to 0.8. That would be twice the distance from the sun as another planetoid is half of the density. So is it half of the density? Looks like it's around 5.4 and it drops to around five. That's not half of the density, C is wrong. Answer is D, the distance from the planetoid to the sun is unrelated to the density. In that case, we'd have dots all over the place and we wouldn't even be able to make a line of best fit. Your correct answer is A. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble with graphs, especially best fit lines showing the relationship between the X and Y axis here. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.